kind of here at Diamond Valley today and the thing is there's about 200 boats in line. We were lucky enough to be one of the first ones out here. Sometimes when you have the shot to come to a good spot and what we're doing is we're just targeting some outside points. There's some massive stripers here nowadays at uh, Diamond Valley. The biggest thing is you're going to see people running the shore. They're going to be doing other baits, top water, swim baits. The first thing you're going to notice is a lot of guys just fish way too fast. Way, way too fast. There's some stripers boiling right on the inside of that point here. We're going to start off with an 8 inch BBZ. And the biggest thing on these baits, I've been telling this for years, people fish too fast. This bait, especially the top water, I made this bait so you could slow roll it, and I'm talking super slow roll across the water. And what you want to do, if you see my hand and do a close up, we're looking at bringing in 20 inches, 20 to 24 inches per revolution, and it's taking two to three seconds to do one revolution. And when you look at the line and stuff, the, the biggest key is watch your line. I use mono 25 pound test. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm keeping up with the coils of the line. That's just enough to get that bait working. And the biggest thing is you watch. You watch that bait crawl across the surface. Big stripers and largemouth, they'll key in on that real slow, subtle swim. And when you start seeing the little boils around it, when you see them coming up and sniffing it, that's the time where you start doing a little directional change. You pop it, do a quick little reel, and you let it sit there, do, do a directional change, and that sometimes will trigger them to, to come up and commit. <clears throat> We're gonna sneak up here just a little bit further. In a minute, when the sun comes up a little bit more, we'll, we'll get a close-up of how slow this bait's working across the surface. And tell you what, if you take any swim bait, but especially the, the BBZ line, and you fish top water or, or even the slow sink this slow, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. It's surprising, there's, there's stripers out here, <clears throat> 15 to 40 pounds, and a lot of them are keying in on bait that's only an inch long. It's amazing how a, a fish that size can target something that small, you know, get keyed in on it, where a lot of these other offerings will, uh, they'll just swim right by it. But if you're gonna have a shot to catch a monster <clears throat> and put one in the boat quick, you can't beat throwing a topwater, you know, swim bait, agent swim bait, super slow in the morning on key areas. We're just waiting to see if they, I got to target them to see if they'll come up and start swirling on this bait, and then we could start working them a little harder. Come on, be nice to us one time. We'll go play. There's a boil. <clears throat> Stripers are funny, especially these big ones. They'll come up and they'll do sw uh, swim bys, <laughs> like drive bys. You'll actually see, if you work it slow enough, you pay attention, you'll actually see the, the circle, a deep boil underneath your bait. Depending on the size of the boil, you count, usually you count like a three to four second. Because they'll come up and they'll do a sweep by your swim bait, and it takes them, special on the length, it takes them about three seconds to come back around and they come right back up to the bait and look at it. You kind of hold it still and if you see the boil, you count three seconds, you do a directional change or you just kind of, you, you kick it in gear just enough and that usually triggers them up to commit on it. <clears throat> and it uh, it's kind of a weird game, it's like a little cat and mouse game, but uh, once you figure out that, that little pattern, you start putting some big fish in the boat quick. That sun breaks a little bit over that hill, it's going to push this bait in from open water. <clears throat> It's going to suck them in a little bit and we'll see a little bit more boils right when the sun com comes up right here. Out of 30 years throwing swim baits, this technique right here of slow rolling has probably put more fish over 10 pounds in the boat than all other techniques. 